hello guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well so as you can see from the title i'm doing a fashion styling video sharing with you what i've been wearing recently i really like doing these kind of videos and i actually quite enjoy watching them as it gives me one a recap of what i've been loving so it makes it obvious of what i gravitate towards and what's the best things to invest into and two i just think it's a really nice way to share with you guys what i've been loving and kind of do like a roundup of what I've been wearing the summer and this transitional period. Like always, everything will be linked down below. For reference, I'm a size four to six UK and I am five foot four. Also, before we get into this, I would love it if it was possible if you did share some love and like and subscribe to my channel. It really supports me. And yeah, that's all I've got to say. If you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram already, I will also leave that down, down below as well. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to do it in order of tops, bottoms, dresses, jackets, accessories. So let's get into it. Starting with the first basic, which I have been loving this summer and I think they're really handy and very key essential pieces to have in your wardrobe and they are these ribbed tank vests. I have a couple of them already. This one is actually from Urban Outfitters. I will leave all the ones that I have down below. I have them in black and in white and I think they are really key pieces for your wardrobe for layering and any occasion. I wear these dressed up and also dressed down. They're super easy to chuck on with a pair of jeans. I've been loving them with my blue Zara jeans that I just love and wear so much. But also as well, I really like these with a satin skirt and maybe more dressier tires. I think it just makes the outfit a little bit more cool. Yeah, I really like this look. They're just incredible to have in your wardrobe and super versatile. The next top I wanted to share in my capsule wardrobe is a waistcoat. I am completely and utterly hooked with these things. I think they're just amazing and they're just really good, perfect everyday tops. I have a couple of them and a different price point. The one I wanted to show you is this Zara one because I have it in this colour and also in the green and I just think it's a really lovely piece. I do love the green one but I think this is a bit more of a staple and forever piece in my wardrobe. To say the least I do wear it quite a lot. It does come with matching shorts which I think is incredible. The green one and the white one also do come as a cobalt with matching shorts. And I think this is amazing because you're going to get so much wear out of it. I wear this time and time again with white jeans, blue jeans, silk skirts, and also again, like I said, the matching shorts. A really lovely top to have in your wardrobe. These are incredible for day to day, workwear, dressing up, also as well for on holiday, like I said, with the shorts would look really lovely. And I really like that they're just super versatile and they are very much timeless pieces. So when it comes to sharing with you guys what I've been adoring, I really wanna make sure that these are timeless classic pieces that you are just going to forever have in your wardrobe. I'm a big lover of blazers, so anything in the suit category I am there for. And also as well, when going into autumn and winter, I have seen some sets going into a trouser, waistcoat and a matching blazer and that just looks really cool. So I also have them from a company called Dish, so I wanted to give this a shout out. It's in a bit more of a linen material. Dish is a gorgeous Australian brand and I have a few pieces from them and absolutely adore. So another top that I have been adoring and I'm wearing the white version now is these Zara tops. They are super affordable and are just super versatile in your wardrobe. I just gravitate towards these because I feel like they are a, a cute top and pair of jeans kind of attire and I've just had so much wear out of them and they are so affordable. They are £20 which is just incredible and the reason being so is because it's literally half a top but they are amazing and they are really lovely to style with and just look really cool. I really like the front of it, it's just really sophisticated and I really enjoy this high neck on me and the thin straps I just think it's super elegant and then at the back it's completely backless with adjustable straps and again like I said I've been really enjoying it with pairing it with trousers to make it really cool but also as well with a slip skirt it looks really pretty I am intending to wear this also in Bali with some little shorts I think that's just the key thing about these is that they're just incredible super versatile really lovely for day to day and maybe more so for evening wear because 
because because they're backless i'm really enjoying these and i just think they are incredible so next up is shirts obviously i think they are an obvious staple in your wardrobe i wanted to share this one because this is actually a new in one for me so this is from and other stories and i really enjoy the uh, style of this one the material it's really different it's a really gorgeous soft material it's got a bit of linen in it as well so it's super smooth it's really lovely and i love this kind of like off-white creamy look it reminds me of the sleeper shirts that kind of material and the button details are so beautiful they're like these really soft gold square buttons with a really lovely white opaque detailing in the middle and it's just such a lovely shirt you can wear these with shorts jeans make it really smart for tailoring for work but i also intend to take this to bali with me with a little bikini underneath they're just super handy so i think this is a little bit more of a smarter attire a little bit more of a formal shirt which i do really like it's just so beautiful this would also look really lovely dressed up because it's a bit more of a formal attire and then the other one i do have is a blue and white stripe shirt i love this super oversized which is just incredible and this one's from charlie london i really adore it i just get so much wear out of it again everyday wear also as well i wore it on holiday in baritz really dressed up with loads of gold jewelry and it just looks like really effortless and i just absolutely adore that look but yeah a really perfect cover up for the beach as well but again back in england with some shorts or a pair of jeans you just can't go wrong a really lovely layering piece as well i wear these in the summer with my gym wear so i chuck this on when i'm heading out to the gym just to have an extra layer on really amazing pieces to have in your wardrobe perfect staples but i would say you can't go wrong with a classic white shirt and a classic blue and white striped shirt okay so we're going to move on to bottoms now and i'm going to start off with shorts so i wanted to share the pair of shorts that i actually got with the sara waistcoat they come in white green and this gorgeous linen beige i just think these are just incredible these are such gorgeous pieces and i really think zara are doing really well at the moment um but yeah i really like these and this is the reason why I wanted to share them is because this colorway, I think it's a really lovely neutral color, which you're going to get so much wear out of them. They are really lovely and smart as well, and they're in this linen, so a really nice like tailored short, but still kind of casual down with the material. Like I said, you can wear this with the matching waistcoat, but again, with a white shirt, like I've done with the And Other Stories shirt. Also as well, for the beach, you're just gonna get so much wear out of them, dress them up, dress them down, really versatile, and I just think you just can't go wrong with them. They're called a Bermuda fit, so if you wanna find that on Zara, then you you can do so and I have them in a extra small. I'm then going to go on to a trusty pair of oversized blue denim jeans and it's very shocking for me to even introduce that into my videos because I have never been a jeans or a denim girl ever ever and this year I really fell in love with jeans because I fell in love with the oversized fit. I think I used to really struggle when I was younger with the really tight high-waisted kind of like American apparel cinching in your waist jeans i just didn't like it on myself my stomach didn't like it and i think i removed jeans out of my life for good when i just didn't find them comfortable i just didn't like that vibe and i just didn't enjoy it however i have really enjoyed wearing oversized jeans they are just super comfortable i feel like they're a really handy piece to have in your wardrobe when it comes to maybe having a dressier top like i'm wearing today and then paired it with some jeans Jeans, I think that just looks very cool and kind of balances out the outfit. So with the jeans, I wear them like I have just done here with dressier tops. Also with those ribbed vest tops and also as well with the waistcoats. I just think they are, again, super versatile. I also have another pair of jeans that I really like. It is a pair from Zara and it is quite a oversized fit i will try and leave these down below hopefully they are down below but these are what i enjoy about zara jeans is that they're quite stretchy you have the classic material denim jeans but also as well zara do quite a lot some of the kind of like stretchier jeans which i find really comfortable these are high-waisted but like i said they're in a stretchy material so they're not too 
uncomfortable on your waist but i really like how they are cinched in around the hip and then flare out at the bottom so other trousers i have been purchasing are tailored trousers and i have a couple and this is my recent purchase and i have been loving them and i'm actually ordering these in different colors as well because they're really affordable they come in a multitude of colors but i think it's really key to just keep to the essential simple colors so black white maybe brown colors that you're going to wear maybe navy that would be really lovely i think these were 24 pounds which i think is really good and to start off i picked up this really gorgeous like mal gray off white color and i absolutely adore them i think they are super flattering i picked them up in a european 34 which i guess is a six the material is incredible they don't crease at all and i really like this color i think it's a really nice summer color but again it's going to be really nice with some cream or black knitted tops cardigans jumpers blazers would be really lovely as well they were were a good size of me i have had to do a little bit of hemming at the bottom but other than that they are incredible and i really love this fit on me really perfect for every day a really good pair of trousers for workwear and a bit more of a formal attire really good quality and really affordable so if you are on the hunt for some new trousers for september and going kind of back to school back to work vibes i would really recommend this pair from h&m they are incredible and i would really recommend picking them up in a couple of colours. So the other pair of trousers that I have been loving are my Lebecca ones. I really like these because they are incredible for, more so I guess for the summer, maybe like a bit more of a spring summer trouser. They're in this really gorgeous thick linen cotton and they are so beautiful and I just adore the detailing around the waist really gorgeous border and they also have it on the pocket here as well i do have the matching top for it it does come as a set which i will leave down below because i think it is a amazing holiday attire which i do adore but for when being in London, I have just been loving pairing these with tops like this. So I actually wore it the other day with this top and some white trainers and I looked really cool. They're just really lovely to have in my wardrobe. Um, and they're just a little bit more different, which I really like. They're really lovely statement pieces. I had to get them altered at my local tailor. But other than that, they are incredible. I really like the kind of like low crotch, quite baggy look to this tailor. And I think it just looks super cool, which gives it a bit more of a versatility to dress up and dress down and yeah i absolutely love these but they do come as a matching set with a gorgeous off the shoulder top so definitely do check that out the becca is a beautiful london brand and i am a massive fan of them i have a gorgeous swimsuit from them and this gorgeous brown two-piece which i'll also leave down below because they are incredible summer pieces so yeah definitely check them out and then last but definitely not least a another bottom staple to have in your wardrobe well not just summer but the whole entire year is a slip skirt i have not taken these off and i have fallen in love with them i absolutely have been adoring slip skirts i just think they're such a key piece to have in your wardrobe so i have two here because i wanted to show you two monochrome um colorways so the first one is this gorgeous creamy beige golden one from dip and I absolutely love it it comes with a tie at the front but then also as well I have this one from weekday so a little bit more affordable you can get these on the high street you can get these high end but these are my two favorite slip skirts that I have again I dress them up and dress them down so I have worn this white top with this black skirt I think they're just really cool pieces to really dress up really casual tops and I feel like that's kind of like effortlessly chic which you could wear for a day to day but also as well on holiday and in the evenings in London and also as well you can just dress it up with a little heel roof top and a blazer that would look stunning but again with a sandal also looks just very chic in the winter i would wear them with a ribbed top and an oversized blazer and some little boots underneath i've seen people do like an oversized shirt um undone with a skirt and knee-high boots and that looks really cool i'll leave some inspiration all over the screen for why you should invest into these for the autumn winter period because i know when this goes live it will be 
a bit more swaying into autumn transitional fashion however i think these are key pieces to still invest into because you're going to get so much wear out of them i've worn them all of summer all of winter i'll be taking these to bali with me as well because i know i'm going to wear them so much out there as well but yeah these are my maybe one of my favorite key pieces i have invested into and purchased for this season and i absolutely adore them okay going on to dresses and something i would really recommend is a little black dress i have seen so much wear out of this dress i have had a thing for backless tops and dresses this summer and i've really enjoyed them but this one from and other stories has literally won the show it's one of those dresses where you can literally chuck it on and you literally look like you've made an effort it is the most perfect effortless dress it is so stunning so it's this beautiful maxi dress with a gorgeous cinched in waist and then like i said it's got a gorgeous backless top i will also leave down below my like to note page i do have a couple of different black dresses that i've been adoring they're just really handy and essential to have in your wardrobe for like again day to day going out in the evenings i have one which is like a strapless maxi dress and it is the perfect versatile dress ever and i've seen so much wear out of that one as well but i wanted to give this one a shout out i see myself wearing it for days when i just don't know what to wear i haven't got time to think about what i'm wearing if i'm just around the house editing but also as well if i'm going out for lunch or going to the shops or go for like a summer evening dinner and drinks this is just the most perfect piece to have in your wardrobe and i mean that for the other black dresses as well i have a couple of short ones as well which is really key to have in your wardrobe i think they're just super versatile and i have just got so much wear out of them i am a true fan of a black outfit so let's go in to jackets now because these are the pieces that i've just been gravitating towards over the summer it is still really warm and to be honest i haven't been really wearing that many jackets or blazers it's been so lovely outside and i've actually been really good where where i've been wearing like slip skirts or trousers i'm not really necessarily needed the a jacket to chuck on however i do have a few that i have been loving so i wanted to give them a shout out so the first one which is probably the most probably the most casual one is this bomber jacket from mint velvet i absolutely adore this it's in a really gorgeous like boucle tweedy style so it's kind of like a cool girl version of a chanel prop jacket but in a bomber version so really elegant really chic always really gorgeous gold buttons i really like that this bomber jacket is in this material because it's a really nice way to have a really cool casual jacket which you can dress up and dress down so i've been wearing it in the evening but also as well for day to day and travel so i've been styling this with a pair of jeans and a ribbed vest but then again Again, I've worn it in the evening with some really nice tailored trousers, a little top like this, and then I chuck this over my shoulders. And it just gives a really cool look. So that's probably where I've been, how I've been wearing jackets in the summer is just to have it over my shoulders just to keep that little bit warm and a bit more shielded but you're not overheating with putting your shoulders in but yeah i just think this looks really cool and really effortless and i really enjoy this jacket i couldn't not give a shout out to my me and m short black jacket i have seen so much love and wear out of this jacket and i believe you guys have too everybody in the instagram tiktok i love this jacket i absolutely rave about it i have recently received kindly from the me and m team a green version which is so stunning but it is a little bit too thick for the versatility of how i would wear this jacket but this is definitely the perfect winter summer jacket especially in england so it's a really thin woven black cropped jacket with some golden with some golden buttons i will leave loads of similars down below my friend actually just purchased a bash version and it is really beautiful i think when it comes to pieces like this i have seen some cardigan versions as well like you've seen there's they're doing it in a bomber jacket version i definitely think if you are going to invest into anything i think it is into your outerwear because you're going to see such high quality i do know h&m do do these but i really have seen the test of time with this jacket it is 300 pounds 
but I definitely have seen my money's well spent with this jacket. And I said that to my friend Holly when she bought her bash one and she was like, oh, it is a little bit expensive. And I said, but these are going to, these are going to be forever jackets in your wardrobe. These are Chanel dupe because the Chanel jacket has always stayed in trend they're timeless elegant classic pieces and you can dress them up dress them down make them look preppy make them look really cool with a pair of oversized jeans they are just really cool staples to have in your wardrobe in the winter i actually wore this as a top as well because i just love that look i think that was really cool just a little bit different to a blazer i feel like blazers have been very overdone so i kind of avoid blazers as much as possible i've just got a bit tedious of them nevertheless i was going to shout out my next one which is my frankie blazer which i purchased in winter and i am definitely going to get another one of these because it is the most incredible fit it is huge on me though where i i have got a little bit smaller this year and i picked this up in an extra small and I think I'm going to need it in an extra, extra small because they are just ginormous. But they are just such a cool fit. I absolutely adore them. I really love this brown colour as well. I think it's a really good colour. And yeah, I can't say anything else about these Frankie Shop blazers because they are just incredible again at a higher price point. So again, I think this was around the 200, 300 pound mark, but I have seen my wear out of. okay so we're gonna go into accessories now and instead of sharing with you all of my accessories because i think we'll be here forever i think i will share with you my new in pieces pieces that i've literally gravitated towards and have been really loving and really happy with the investment over the summer i didn't actually really invest into too many pieces maybe i'll share with you three to four favorite pieces i've invested into which i think you should as well just to give you some inspiration which i also think will be amazing for different seasons and for now so firstly we're going to talk about sunglasses and this is a pair from taylor morris that i have just been absolutely adoring it's a really gorgeous aviator shape and i just think they are so classic so elegant i have worn these to death and i absolutely adore them i just think they are really lovely and really chic another pair that i have recently just been sharing because they are incredible and also as well i think these are just incredible for going into autumn winter are these ysl sunglasses i invested into these maybe three or four years ago and i've had so much wear out of them they're just such a lovely versatile sunglass i have adored them and they're just really cool and i think they're very versatile and very flattering on a lot of people's faces but yeah so i've been really loving these these have just been my go-to sunglasses over the summer going into bags i have two bags to share with you because they have been so amazing so firstly is this song want bag and i received this maybe three weeks ago and i am truly and utterly obsessed this is called the luna bag it comes in different colors but i picked up this gorgeous white one i would really like the black one as well i was kind of gifted this and i have not stopped wearing it and i think it is an incredible investment so like i said this is the songmont luna bag it comes like this and then it has a couple of different straps so you have one which is maybe this length and then a longer version so it can be over the shoulders which i'll definitely be taking to bali with me i've been gravitated to just wear it like this like a little baguette and i just think it's super chic really elegant this bag is a TARDIS. You can get so much in here. It is incredible. It has this magnet opening and I have just literally, I get so much into it. It's huge. I've been really enjoying it and it's just so elegant. I absolutely adore it. So I wanted to give that a shout out first. I've been wearing it during the day, in the evening. It's just such a perfect bag and I have been loving it. So yeah, I definitely would look at getting it in the black version as well. Super timeless. Also a really nice like affordable designer price point. I think they're around the 200, 300 pound mark. Quite like the Pauline Paris ones. Uh, it's an American brand and yeah, really enjoy it. The quality is incredible and I definitely think worth your money because I just get so much wear out of it. I absolutely love it. A investment I made a week ago, which I have seen the money well spent already is a vintage louis vuitton never full tote bag and i picked this up from sign of the times i actually did a part collaboration so they kindly gifted me a voucher 
and then I paid for the rest. It's a bag that I've been wanting on my wish list for a very long time now. And I've been umming and ironing between this tote bag or a Loewe basket bag. However, for the same price, I think I'm going to forever wear this in the summer, autumn, winter, spring, every year. It is going to see the test of time. This is a, I can't remember what date this, this was made. I think this was actually a 2009 Liverpool tote bag. So it is a vintage, like I said, and it is in mint condition and it is incredible. I believe this is the medium size, so a really good size, a perfect travel size bag. And yeah, I have absolutely adored it and very over the moon with my purchase. So I'd really recommend if you're looking for a tote bag, these are forever pieces and I'm so obsessed with how beautiful this is. I'm so happy I got it because again, like I said, it's a classic. It is timeless and I'm so excited to wear this for my travels when I go to Bali, but also as well that it is an amazing work bag and weekend away bag. So I'm going to finish off with two pairs of shoes and then we're going to call it a day. So the first pair is actually a pair I've recently purchased and they have not come off my feet. And it is the Russell and Bromley sandals. I picked them up in the black. They're quite like a dupe of the, the Hermes um, sandals, which are, I think they are £500, I believe. These were £200. So I would say that they are Russell and Bromley price points are kind of on the way to the designer price point these are incredible quality and they are just so chic they come in black brown and it's really gorgeous like gold champagne leather i they are so comfortable true to size they're so elegant so beautiful they do do like a chunkier version however i just thought these were so elegant and classic and just a little bit more me and i have worn them to death and last but not least is a pair of white samba trainers now samba trainers trend has just gone crazy it is mad how trends happen and explode and yeah it's crazy but the Samba trainers did come in a crazy amount of different colorways, which are really fun and really gorgeous. However, for me, I'm a, I'm a very neutral, uh, keep it simple, monochrome look kind of girl because I like to get a lot of wear out of them and I really want to make sure that I can see myself wearing them with so many different outfits. So I picked up this really lovely white pair of the Sambas and I really love that they've got a off white and white color palette running through. So they look a little bit more vintage, which I really enjoy. And I've just been really loving these. These are super comfortable, really affordable as well. I picked these up from Office. I got these Adidas Sambas in a size five. Um, they do have some other really nice like neutral colorways as well, which I'll leave down below. I have seen a leather taupey beige version and a sage version come out which look stunning so if i can find them i will leave those down below as well because i think colors like that are very easy to style with so yeah guys that is the end of this video thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this style of video it's something that i do really want to bring back back onto my youtube channel a bit more frequently so maybe i'll be doing these maybe once per season or once per month um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. Like always, everything will be linked down below. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. And yeah, it makes me see if you enjoy these videos or not. But other than that, I hope you all have a lovely day or lovely rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video.